friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day To Lose Weight On WW Freestyle. I cannot wait to share my meals with you today. I'm gonna show you my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner, some snacks and dessert, as well as a couple of fun hauls, a little bit of my dogs, lots of good things coming your way. So if you wanna see what I eat in a day on WW Freestyle, points and calories included, and a little day in the life, then all you have to do is stay tuned. Are you with mommy when she's cooking? She likes our new rug that we got so that she can sit with me while I'm cooking. You're so cute. I love you. Yes, I do, babe. So here's what I'm gonna do for breakfast this morning. I'm not super hungry, so I'm gonna do something kind of on the light side, save up my points for dinner. My dinner tonight's a little more points. So I have two slices of the Nature's Own Butter Bread. This is the bread right here. I really like this bread. The pieces are nice and thick, and you can have one slice for one point or two slices for three points. I added one egg, and I also added one slice of the Jarlsberg Reduced Fat Swiss Cheese. You can have one slice of this cheese for only one smart point. And then I just sprayed my bread with a little bit of the I Can't Believe It's Not Butter spray. So I have a little breakfast sandwich here, and it is a total of four points. Three for the bread and one for the cheese. And then I have a little bowl of some delicious fresh strawberries for zero. So my breakfast is a total of four smart points. I wanna just share with you a quick little TJ Maxx haul. I actually went to look at some plates and things for my videos. And of course, wanted to see if they had more of the dog treats. So here's what I picked up at TJ Maxx. So I found these Wellness Crunchy Well Bars. These are made with yogurt, apples, and bananas. They're grain-free, which my dogs have to be grain-free and chicken-free. So these have no chicken either. This is a huge bag of these for only $9.99. So these will definitely go over well in my family. And also for the dogs, since they had the large bag of the sweet potato chews, I picked up another bag. These are 100% dried sweet potatoes, so good for dogs. And I mentioned in my last video that it's $15, like it says here on Amazon. And at TJ Maxx, it's $9.99. So $5 off per bag, so I grabbed another bag. I also saw the skinny syrups in coconut, and that sounds delicious with my sugar-free chocolate powder, kind of a coconut mocha. So I picked up a bottle of that. Really good price, uh, $3.99 for the skinny syrup. So I grabbed some coconut, and I found this beautiful glass dish, and I thought this would be great in my videos. You can use it for salads. You, I just thought that it would be really nice to have, and it's kind of this bubble glass it's actually really really cool so it was six dollars you can't beat it so i picked up this nice bowl for my videos and then i've been liking these do-at-home nails and these are only 4.99 and look at these these are so pretty so i'm going to save this is a good fall color and five dollars for a nail set is really inexpensive so that is everything that I grabbed at TJ Maxx. So here is what I'm having for my morning snack. It's a little before 10. I ate breakfast at a little before seven. So it is time for my mid-morning snack. This of course is the mint chocolate cream built bar. I love the built bars, as you know. I like this mint, but the mint brownie delight is so good. And by the way, the mint brownie delight and the mocha are now permanent flavors. The strawberry and the lemon are being discontinued for a short time, so make sure that you order those before they are gone. They're gonna be replaced in the sample box with the mint brownie delight and the uh, mocha. So definitely order some built bars. 
three smart points. This is 15 grams of protein, six grams of fiber, so it keeps me nice and full until it is lunchtime. So only three smart points, and these literally taste like a candy bar, you guys. So if you have not ordered Built Bar, go over to BuiltBar.com. You can use my link down in the description box. It will automatically apply a 10% discount and give you free shipping. So definitely check out Built Bar. In my opinion, a must-have WW game changer. So this is my three smart point morning snack. Someone is out there sunbathing on the basketball court. It is hot today and she goes and lays on the hot concrete. She cracks me up because I just want to point out that she has a dog bed right here in the shade that she could lay on, but instead she heads on out to the basketball court. Well, good morning, buddy. Bubba, you want to say hi to everyone? Diesel, say hi. No, you're tired. He's resting while I wash all our sheets on our bed. He literally has been in bed all morning. Oh, well, hello. You are alive and well. Hi, bud. My handsome boy here. So here is what I'm going to be having for lunch today. So what I have here is a turkey, honey mustard, and cheese wrap. Look at how good this looks, you guys. Yum. So I'm going to show you what's on my wrap. Again, it is honey mustard, cheese, turkey, and some lettuce. So my wrap is actually the Tomorrow's Premium White Wrap. These are only one smart point. You cannot beat that. They are delicious. I think I like them better than the Olay Wrap. I never thought I would say, say that. But they are absolutely delicious. It even says one smart point wine on the package. Delicious. And then I have one serving of the Trader Joe's smoked turkey breast. This, of course, is zero smart points for one serving. This turkey breast is so good. It is actually like it's carved. It is, it's amazing. And then I have one wedge of the creamy Swiss light laughing cow cheese. And then I have one teaspoon of French's honey mustard for zero smart points. So my wrap is one point for the tortilla, one point for the cheese. This is a two smart point wrap. And then I have one serving of Thinnables. This is the Italian cheese. These crackers are so good. You can buy these off the Nutrition website. There is a link down in my description box. Click the link, it'll take you right to the website. 30 crackers, two smart points, and they're better than Cheez-Its. They're so good. So I'm going to have a serving of those. I have some blueberries here for my second fruit of the day. And then over here, I have my kind of new obsession. These are the O oh Snap. These are the Dilly Bites. These are just dill pickles, and they are so crunchy and so delicious and so zero points, so you can't beat that. So I'm gonna have some pickles, and then for dessert, I am going to have one of my Sweet Nothings. This is actually the Peanut Cluster. It tastes just like a Snickers bar. One smart point, one smart point for chocolate. Who can complain about that? These are purchased off of the ProteinWise website. Again, there's a link down in the description box that'll give you $10 off your first order. So you can order up a bunch of WW food for free. So that is gonna be my lunch for today. So it is two for the wrap, two for the crackers. So this entire lunch, you guys, oh wait, I forgot my sweet nothings. Two for the wrap, two for the crackers, one for the chocolate. This entire lunch is only five smart points. So I wanted to show you guys the big project we've been working on. So this has went down by half. We had twice this much bark. You can see the remnants over there. We have decided to rebark our entire front yard and a portion of our backyard. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour. So what we have rebarked basically was this entire flower bed area. I'll show you what the old bark looked like, but we have spent the last two days barking our yard it's been a lot of work we also chopped down this cherry tree that we had it was pretty much dead we're going to have a tree company come out and pull out the stump and we're going to plant a new tree so this is what the old bark used to look like it's just really worn out and old and icky so what we did you can see the big difference here is we added fresh new bark we just haven't quite finished but we've done both sides of our walkway and yeah we are doing a lot of landscape this year we bought a couple of new bushes that we're going to be planting and then I'm going to show you the big project so we did most of this on Friday but then but then yesterday Saturday we did all of this area now this area is 
huge, but look at how amazing it looks. I mean, we're talking two to three inches of bark, you guys. So shoveling the bark, spreading the bark. This tree here, we're gonna be taking down as well, only because it is kind of on its last legs as well. So we'll have them pull that out and we're gonna plant a different tree there. But look at that. We did all of this. Isn't that crazy? So we spent the day bark in our yard, but to be honest, it looks honestly a million times better. It is afternoon snack time. It is 3 p.m. and I just got done slaving away cleaning my house. So I'm hungry and I'm going to have one of my healthy eating all the time and go bars. This is the peanut butter protein. I'm going to give you guys a good look at the macros because the macros on these bars are on point. You can see this particular one is six smart points. No preservatives. Here's your ingredients. Oats, peanut butter, and then of course what's in peanut butter, whey protein, sunflower lectin, sunflower seeds, coconut, almond, raisins, honey, and coconut flour. That's it. These bars are so incredibly filling and delicious. I know they're a little bit high in points, but it is worth it because they keep you full. They are literally a meal replacement. They are that incredibly good. They're only a little over 200 calories, which is not bad. I love these. The lady who owns this company is a sweetheart. I do have a link down in the description box. And if you use my code here on the screen, you'll get 12% off of your order. This is not an affiliate link. I do not make any type of commission or anything, but I have to share these bars with you guys because in my opinion, they are well worth the points because they are so satisfying and delicious. So this is gonna be my afternoon snack. I'm working on a big cup of water. So six points for this afternoon snack. So I wanna share with you guys a Ross haul. So you can see I've been doing a little shopping. There's been a few things that I've wanted to pick up household type of things. So I made my way to Ross and let me show you what I picked up. I wanna say everything I'm gonna show was $50. So first I got this new rug for my kitchen. I love it. It is gray and white. It is one of those, uh, textured, comfortable standing mats, and I love it. It's gonna go so well in my kitchen, and it was a whole whopping $9.99. Wipes off really easy, so really excited about that. I also found some of the Lakanto maple syrup. So this is the syrup made with monk fruit, and it is about the same amount of points as the store-bought syrup, but it's just better for you. Monk fruit is just a really good sweetener. And this was only $5.99, which is actually a really good price. And then I also found the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener for $4.49. I wanna say that when I ordered this online on Amazon, I think I paid at least $2 more for it. So I grabbed that since these two things are really good and a really good deal. And then I found these real simple organic pet wipes. I've been using these in Diesel's ears. He's been swimming a lot by the river. Uh, we have a river right in our backyard and Diesel's been going down there and swimming a lot. So I always clean his ears. He's prone to ear infections. Labs have those ears that flop over so they get those ear infections. So I thought I'd grab these. They have a pop top, which will be really nice. I can just have them on hand to clean his ears. And then I bought three, oh, I didn't tell you the price, $3.99. For those and then i bought three of these glass jars these were also 3.99 with a screw on lid i'm going to do so a little bit of pantry organizing and i'm going to put my flour my self-rising flour and my just regular white sugar in these jars and i think it's going to look really nice in my pantry and it does have that nice screw on lid so it'll preserve those ingredients as well so picked up three of those i'd have bought more if they had them but they only had three and then I couldn't pass these up. These are the Daisy Fuentes, who didn't own she had her own knives, but these are her knives and they are so cute. I just love the pattern, love the color. It's always nice just to have some extra knives on hand. And these are really cute. So I thought they'd look nice in my videos. And by the way, still no luck on some really fun plates, but I'll keep looking. And then the last thing I picked up at Ross was this Sharper Image Old and icky and i really like the look of this wood one and it was only 5.99 oh these knives 4.99 so what a bargain so that's what i picked up at ross and again it was about 50 dollars or so for everything for tonight's dinner i am making a farmhouse chicken dinner i can't wait for this it is going to be hearty filling 
delicious. So let me show you what is in our dinner tonight. So first, I'm gonna be using vegetable broth. The recipe actually calls for chicken, but I had this open in my fridge and I didn't wanna open a whole new container. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use veggie broth instead. Fat-free craft zesty Italian, flour, pepper and parsley, baby carrots, any type of rice of your choosing. I'm gonna go ahead and do jasmine rice, chicken breast, an onion, and some fat-free cream cheese. So let's get started on our farmhouse chicken dinner. The first thing that we need to do to get started for tonight's dinner is in a bowl here, I added one quarter cup of flour and just some fresh ground pepper. And then I took my two breasts of chicken and just sliced them into smaller, thinner pieces. And we are going to dip our chicken pieces into our flour mixture and just get a nice light coating on both sides. And then we're just gonna set those aside Side. and we're gonna get our rice started and then we'll be ready to get our chicken baking in a pan as well. my rice going on the stove so it's come to a boil I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the heat a little bit and we're just gonna let our rice cook as usual and then in another pan here I have it warming up and I'm going to add my one quarter cup of my fat free zesty Italian dressing I'm gonna let my pan get nice and warm and then we'll add in our chicken so I've added my breasts of chicken to my Italian dressing it's looking good we're gonna let these cook down on both sides until our chicken is cooked completely through. Once your chicken starts to brown, we are gonna go ahead and add in one cup of our broth. So whether you do chicken or vegetable, we're also going to add in our diced up onion and we're gonna put in two cups-ish of baby carrots. So I'm just gonna put a few handfuls. Carrots are zero point, so we just want roughly two cups of carrots added to our dish and then we're just going to give this kind of a quick mix together and then we're going to cover this and allow it to cook down until the carrots have softened the onions are soft and our chicken is cooked through our rice is done so i just have the lid on it keeping it warm our chicken is coming along nicely we just have to let it simmer here for about 20 minutes or so so that those carrots get cooked through and then we're gonna make some sauce and our dinner is ready so not bad I've went ahead and added my rice to a large bowl just kind of patted it down on the bottom here is our chicken and carrots oh it looks so good we are going to remove these with a slotted spoon because we do want to reserve the liquid to add our cream cheese we're going to make a sauce here for our farmhouse chicken dinner but this looks delicious so I'm just going to use my slotted spoon and just spoon my chicken carrots and onion mixture here over my rice and then I'll be back to show you guys the next step with the cream cheese but doesn't this look absolutely delicious once you've removed your chicken mixture we have a little bit of liquid here in the bottom of our pan so I'm going to add my four ounces of fat free cream cheese I'm going to let this kind of start to melt and then we're going to add in about another half of a cup of our veggie broth, our chicken broth. We're gonna let this cook down, allow it to simmer here on medium heat for about five minutes or so until our cream cheese is melted and our sauce has thickened up. Yummy. So I went ahead and kept my chicken and rice covered. Here is our sauce, yum. So we are literally going to just pour this over the top of our chicken and our carrots until it is all nice and covered. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Oh, yum. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of pepper and some parsley, and I'll show you our completed dinner before we plate it up. And here is our completed farmhouse chicken. This looks absolutely delicious. So this entire bowl is only four servings. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide this up into four equal servings plate it up and I'll be back to show you the completed dinner and give you the smart points. So here is my completed dinner. So this is one fourth 
of the farmhouse chicken dinner and one fourth is only seven smart points. So you have your rice, your chicken, your vegetable. So this is only a seven smart point dinner. For dessert tonight, I am having a smart cake parfait. This is one of my very favorite desserts. So what is here in my parfait, of course, is a smart cake. So this is the size of the actual smart cake and these are only one smart point. This particular one is the orange cream. I love this, it's very fresh for summer. So I have one of the orange cream smart cakes and then I have some of my light and fit non-fat toasted coconut vanilla yogurt and I've layered that in my parfait as well. And then of course some fat free ready whip. So if you wanna pick up the smart cakes, you can order these on the Smart Baking Co. website. If you use my code here on the screen, you will save 10% off of your order and all of that is linked down in the description box below. You can't beat one smart point for a cake. So my parfait is two smart points for the yogurt, one for the cake and one for the fat free ready whip because I did add quite a bit to my parfait. So this is a total of four smart points. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on all of my meals throughout today, my hauls, seeing my dogs. It was an excellent day as always. I am so excited and ready for the challenge this next week. Cannot wait. So if you're new to my channel, I'd like to say hello. Make sure that you subscribe, hit that little notification bell. That way you'll be notified each and every time I upload. You don't wanna miss a video. Give this one a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this, what I eat in a day and this dinner recipe. It was delicious. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.